Hey guys, so today we are going to do a talk over instead of a voiceover because it's just simpler for me to edit. So first, what we're going to do in order to get this blue-brown look is by applying Maybelline's Cover Stick Concealer onto my eyelid. This will help prevent creasing and help brighten the colors and make it last all day. So I'm just going to wipe this all over my lid, even up into my brow bone, being careful that I don't mess up my um, already made brows. And then I'm going to put this down somewhere because that's all we need it for. Now, I want to take this palette, looks like this. Looks like an iPad, basically. There's like an iPad uh, clear sheet that goes over it. Um, but it's broken, so I took it off. But I don't know what brand this is. On the back it says Markins International City of Industry, blah, blah, blah. Mar I guess it's Markins. So whatever brand that is. I never heard about it before until I got this palette from my friend. So has 80 eyeshadows total. We're going to use um, Vixen, which is right here. If you don't have this palette, obviously just get colors similar to it because it's just easier that way <laughs> instead of having to look for the palette because then what if you don't find that palette? Well, I gotta clean off this brush. There's blue all over it from me doing this eye. Okay, now get the Vixen color, which is a white, and place this all over your eyelid where you place the concealer. This will set the concealer and help brighten the colors as well because it's a white base. Gonna add a little bit more. And then I'm going to take a packing brush after I clean it off. Because like I said, there's blue all over it. I'm going to take a packing brush, which looks like this. Take the same color Vixen or white. And I'm going to place it on my brow bone, like right here. It's a matte white from the looks of it. At least it looks like it's a matte white. Yeah, it's a matte white. So this helps brighten underneath your brow. Taking the same packing brush and any setting spray or water if you want. I'm using Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Rose 3 in 1 Primer Water for this. And I'm going to spray the brush so it's damp. And then I'm taking the color Courage, which is this dark blue color right here. And I'm going to, I don't know which way I wetted. It's both dry already, so let me wetten it again. That was fast. I'm going to take Courage, which was the blue. And I'm going to pack this all over my eyelid. Wetting the brush will help bring the pigment more, um, brighten the pigment more. So then it's not so dull of a color. And some palettes just need that and some palettes don't. I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid, just pack it on. If it looks messy, that's okay, we're going to blend it out. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take my Morphe M4441 brush, which looks like this. I'm going to clean it off. And then I'm going to blend out the edges so it doesn't look so sharp or messy.
And that's all that we need from this palette. So I'm going to put this on the floor. Because I don't got much room on this table. The next palette I'm using is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. And I'm going to start with the shade, let's see, Pooter, which is this brown right here. And with the same blending brush, I just blend out. Now I'm going to use this brush. This brush is the one I used before. I'm going to clean it off. I'm using Morphe's M513 brush, which looks like this. In the color Poudre, which is a brown. And I'm going to place this into my crease. Get a little bit more. And like that. Now I'm taking the same packing brush that I was just using. I'm going to wetten it again. And using the color Twerk, which is this glittery blue, I'm going to pack this onto my eyelid. Like that. Now I'm going to take my blending brush, which is the Morphe M441 brush. Again, it looks like this. And I'm going to blend that out. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. More of the, um, what was the color called again? Twerk. More of the twerk. I'm going to just put it a little bit more because it kind of faded out a little bit. And then I'm going to go back to the same blending brush, clean it off, using my pants to clean it off, and then blend it out again. Like that. Now I'm taking now I'm taking an angled brush. I have a thin one. And taking pooter again. This brown right here. I'm going to line my bottom lid. And I'm going to wing it out at the end. Making sure I winged it out properly because my mirror is kind of far away. Just kind of. Just kind of. We're going to clean that up, by the way. It's not going to be fully winged. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to... Oh, we are going back to the other palette. I forgot something from that palette. Now we're going to go and use Elegant, which is this black color right here. And we're going to line our upper lid. So just line it like you would with eyeliner. I prefer eyeshadow because it's easier for me to control. Now I'm taking a eyeliner. It is Color Concept Eyeliner in black 
it doesn't say black, but it is black. And I'm going to line my, un not line my underline, I'm going to, uh, well, line my underline just on top of it, my lower line, well, my lower lid, the inner part of it. Basically, I'm lining my waterline. That's what it's called. <laughs> I just could not remember it at the time. I'm gonna put that to the side. And then I'm gonna go back to my concealer, which I said that I wasn't going to do, and clean up it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my angled brush and clean it off so there's no black on it. And I'm going to just take some of the concealer and I'm going to follow my lid the angle of my lower lid and just clean it off a little bit all right now I'm taking my eyebrow curler my eyebrow curler my eyelash curler I'm going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Blackest Black and I'm going to mascara my, eye, my eyelashes. Mascara my eyelashes. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say. Now I'm going to take my Kiss Lashes in Sultry, which look like this, and I'm going to cut them to fit my eyes. So I'm going to cut them to right, he well, right here, to the second bunch of lashes, and you should always cut the inner part of your eyelashes because you want your eyelashes to be fuller at the end. After it's cut, get your eyelash glue, put it on the eyelash, eyelash band. and let it dry. You can either just let it be and let it dry or you can blow on it. Some people say you shouldn't blow on it because you're putting germs on it but I blow on it. And then you're gonna put it on I still got blue at the end of that eye. Um, you're gonna put it on at the end of your eye, well put it on the center of your eye. I have to get up close. Take a tweezers this is the type that I use and then put it into place now that we're done with the eyes I'm gonna scoot you down and further away hopefully you can see me clearly let me just reshift myself for lipstick or lip um, cream or lip liquid lipstick I'm using dose of colors in flirty which looks like this It's a very pretty color. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to place this all over my lips. I'm going to put that down and then fix any messed up spots. Now, since I didn't put contour on or blush on or highlight on, I want to tell you how I do it. I'm using Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette in the color Subconscious, which I wouldn't show you, but I have to be careful right here. 
because this is broken, it's gonna fall out. So I'm gonna use this color right here, Subconscious. A clean, fluffy brush. This one is by e.l.f. It's the small tapered brush. I got it from Walmart. I'm gonna take the, the contour and then contour my jawbone. After I contour my jawbone, I'm going to contour my temple and my forehead. And then I'm going to contour down my neck. Right here. This will help make your underneath your face look thinner. And then I'm going to do the other side. For blush, I'm using Sayete London, at least I think that's how you pronounce it. Marble Light in the color Dusk. Looks like this. I'm going to use the same brush after cleaning it off. Here. I'm going to place it on the balls of my cheeks and upwards. And then for highlight, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero's Glow Kit in the color Forever Lit, which is this white one right here. Now I'm going to take the same angled brush I was using before, which is this. I forgot to do this when I was closer up, but I'm going to put this in the inner corner of my lid by the tear duct. That came out a lot nicer than this side. And then I'm going to use my finger, place it in the shadow, and then pat it on to my cheek, cheek cheekbone. Like that. And then I'm going to place a little bit on my nose. Like that. And that is how you get this blue-brown look. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was easy to follow. I hope I explained things good. <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful day. Like, comment, and subscribe.